Hello, my friends, and welcome back to KTV Creates. Today, I'm actually going to do something different, and I'm going to show you how you can save time and money using a Cricut vinyl cutting machine. The options are endless with these machines, and I know you're going to get a lot of cool ideas to use for gift ideas and personalizing things and just creating beautiful home decor for your house on a budget. I wanted to give Cricut a big shout out for sponsoring today's video, and let's go ahead and get started with some projects. So the first thing I wanted to show you is um, kind of all the different materials that they have to offer and the different things that you can do with this machine. I will say that the Cricut um, machine and the design space where you go in and design the projects that you want to make. It is so super easy to use. Literally right out of the box, it gives you like step-by-step -step instructions on how to use the machine as well as the design space where you're going to create uh, the beautiful pieces that you're looking to make. So for the first couple of projects, I'm going to show you how to use their um, heat transfer vinyl to make beautiful personalized gifts for your loved ones. And like I said, this to me is a huge time saver for me because I buy all the products online and then I literally just put it all together and you're really saving time and money because you're not out shopping and... Um, figuring stuff out and it's such a really neat sentimental type of a thing because you are giving personalized gifts. So this is an easy press too. So what I'm doing here is I purchased a, just a cotton pillowcase off of Amazon. I will leave everything that I did um, purchase to make these in the description box below so you can um, take a look at that as well as in my Amazon store. So all you want to do here is I'm just going in and um, really um, ironing out the wrinkles first off, <laughs> but then you do want to warm up the material as well before you go ahead and attach your, uh, your heat transfer vinyl. And here, what I decided to do is so I knew what the center of the pillowcase was, I just folded it into a quarter's into quarters, right? Yes. <laughs> and then I just ironed it to get a little crease there so I knew exactly where the center of the pillowcase is. So once I went in and I cut everything out, here I'm doing what we call weeding and I'm taking the the excess of material off of it and you're just gonna be left with the design that you created. For this, I am doing a little personalized pillow for my niece for her birthday, um, and her name is Emily, and she just redid her room, so I thought this would be a perfect little gift uh, to add to her decor. So I am just going to center it right onto, this is a cotton um, pillow sham, or pillowcase cover. Um, so all I'm doing is centering it right onto the pillowcase, and then you're going to go ahead and press that into the material. Now, I am using an Easy Press 2 to go ahead and do that. What I also love about Cricut is that they do give you this, um, you could just search it online, it's called a heat guide for the Easy Press, and it basically tells you exactly what you're going to set the machine at and for how many seconds you need to press. It's going to tell you exactly how to do it and how and the care to instructions and all of that. So it's so, like I said, it's so easy to use. And um, if I could do it, anybody can, trust me. Um, so I right here, I'm just figuring out what my settings need to be uh, for the material that I'm using, for the product that I'm transferring onto the material. And it's telling me exactly what I need to, to set my Easy Press machine to. So all I'm doing here is going ahead and, and um, adding those settings to the machine. And then once it is ready to go, the light turns green and you're all set to press. Then once the Easy Press is all set to go, you're just going to set that on your material, press the green button, and let it count down. And then when you remove that, you're actually going to flip over the material and you're going to press the opposite side as well. And this just helps with the 
product adhering to the fabric a little bit better. You do want to peel this when it is cool to the touch. Please don't burn yourself. Uh, definitely make sure it's cool. And then this is the my most favorite part when you're peeling off um, the carrier sheet and revealing your beautiful design. I just love the way this turned out. I also then decided to go in and add like big polka dots because she actually... Uh, my niece did an accent wall in her room with polka dots all over it. So this just kind of goes with the whole theme and decor. So here I just wanted to show you like you can do this in different segments. So you don't have to get overwhelmed by doing like a big giant piece all at once. Um, so I'm just showing you here how I'm taking the iron on vinyl and I'm just kind of doing it in sections and, and adhering, adhering it that way. Um, so like I said, it's it's definitely very customizable and uh, I just love the way it looks. Like it like I said, you're saving time, you're saving money, uh, and you're you're giving someone a beautiful gift that's super personalized uh, just for them. And if you are new here, I am Kim with KTB Creates. I would love to have you as part of our family. So go ahead and click that subscribe button. So now I'm going to show you this beautiful holographic iron on vinyl. Um, this stuff is amazing. It reminds me of that, the cellophane that like you, you, the colored cellophane that you used to use on the Easter baskets to wrap them. Um, I remember that when I was younger. Uh, so I did find these baskets at Walmart. They were $1.98 a piece. However, I will say I just recently saw them in the Dollar Tree, um, and they're actually cuter than this. All I'm going to do here is just measure uh, how big I want the lettering to be. Um, so that's what I'm kind of trying to figure out here. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut my lettering out. Again, I'm doing a cute little personalized little basket for... Um, some friends of mine for their, for their kids. And again, super inexpensive, at, but yet such a meaningful personalized gift. So all I'm doing here is weeding out the segments of the piece that we don't want. And now we're going to go ahead and iron it on to our fabric. So again, this is felt. So it's a different fabric, doesn't matter. Um, you're going to go right to your heat guide and you're going to see what settings you need to set your easy press at to go ahead and, and adhere the material to your basket. I did also stuff in a whole bunch of dish towels in there uh, because you want the surface that you're applying it to to be um, as flat as it could be. So that's why I went ahead and did that. Um, so here I'm just warming up the fabric and now I am all set to go ahead and apply my lettering. And oh my God, guys, look how cute this is. Like I said, I just think it's so sweet. It's personalized. And then I just stuffed it with a bunch of Dollar Tree, like different candies and things like that. But they are going to love it. And, you know, it's just a thoughtful, thoughtful little gift that something I wanted to do something special for them. So this is how it turned out. Okay, so then I also got very carried away <laughs> with my uh, laundry room decor. I recently, we recently installed this laundry room. It is by far the best home renovation project we ever did. I'm so excited. Um, my wash and dryer used to be in my basement, and this is just fabulous. But I always adored those little stickers that you see on Pinterest and things like that, where it says wash and dry on the washer and dryer. So now with the Cricut machine, I can do that myself. So I don't have to go out and purchase the decal or anything like that. And it was so easy to do. Um, I just looked up like a wreath on the design space. And then I just typed in the lettering and cut the vinyl and you're all set to go. And this is just um, an everyday vinyl uh, that you can stick on onto most surfaces. Uh, so I used this in several parts of my laundry room. 
Uh, and here I'm just showing you how simple it is to adhere. I live on the edge, so, you know, I don't like to measure or be perfect with any of that. So I'm literally just eyeballing it here and um, adhering it right to the front of the washer and dryer. So how cute is that? I'm not kidding when I say this prob this project probably took about 10 minutes to create the design, cut the design, and then maybe another five minutes to apply the design to the washer and dryer. So you're talking a total of 15 minutes and you have such cute, like customizable type of decor um, to add to your laundry room. So just another idea for you. And then I wasn't finished there. I had to go in and do um, this one bucket that I have in my laundry room right on the counter. I like to use it for, um, I put the laundry detergent, some stain remover in there and the bleach in there. So it's kind of like where I store everything. So it's very accessible. Um, and I couldn't decide what to put on this. So I just went with um, just the word detergent. I added um, a little more decor to it. and. I, again, I'm just eyeballing it and centering it, centering it right on the bucket literally took like, took like two minutes. Um, and it's just so cute. Like it just makes everything look so nice. <laughs> you could tell I'm like super excited about all this because it's it, this, honestly, this room and this decor is something that I've wanted to do like for years. So, um, it's definitely something that's a lot of fun for me. <laughs> So another quick and easy budget friendly decor project is you're going to take, I'm taking four of these frames from the Dollar Tree. Uh, it doesn't matter what things they have on them because you're going to go ahead and cover them right up anyways. Uh, but again, I am going to use my, the machine that I use is the um, Cricut Explore Air 2. Uh, and you can cut like over a hundred ma different materials with it. Uh, so you could do so much with this machine. So all I'm going to do here is take some contact paper that I had left over from another project and I'm literally just going to cut it out to fit those frames. Now I will show you here, I didn't even think about it, but when I went to apply the contact paper to the board there, you could see the lettering underneath. So I had to remove it and you're, you're going to want to go in and paint that lettering or cover that lettering. You could even put a uh, glue, a piece of paper over it just to cover it. Um, but I just took some paint, some white paint and just painted right over all of that lettering. So you can't see it depending on the type of contact paper you're using. If you have a thicker one, I guess you don't have to worry about it. So then I cut out all my pieces of my contact paper and I'm just going to apply them right to the little um, frame insert. Uh, and then once you do that to all your pieces, I then decided to cut out a few uh, little words that will go in my um, laundry room, fold, wash, dry, and repeat. Uh, I know you guys probably see these types of signs everywhere as far as um, laundry room decor goes, but again, very inexpensive to do it yourself and uh, create something that I spent like, what well, I mean, really, I only spent like $4 on it because the contact paper was leftover material I had from another project. I'm also going to leave the fonts that I used in all of these projects in the description box below so that if you want to recreate anything, you do have that available to you. I do have an Amazon store in my description box and I will put um, any materials that I did buy. Um, I will link them in my store below. So it's a nice one-stop um, link for you to uh, get the items if you needed to purchase anything.
So this is an amazing material here. It's called infusible ink. Uh, so I'm going to show you just how cool this material is in a second. But look at how pretty the different colors are. Uh, there's four different colors in a pack. And they do be, they do get more vibrant once you um, use the heat to apply them. So you, I am using this infusible ink coasters from Cricut. Uh, so we are going to make uh, really beautiful coasters with it. So I did cut out, I wanted to do one of each color. So I cut out the material and laid it on my mat exactly how I was going to cut it. Uh, and like I said, it's super easy to do. Uh, and then you literally just hit the feed button and that little C uh, starts your vinyl machine and you're good to go. Now, before you do apply heat, you definitely want to clean them off. So I just took a little bit of alcohol and a little paper towel and I just wiped it all off with some alcohol and then a lint-free cloth to make sure that there's no fuzzies or any kind of material left over on your coasters. And then... Again, I'm just going to put them on my heat pad, and we are going to adhere some heat to them. So this is a little trick. You don't want them to move, so I'm just kind of taking that that um, carrier sheet, and I'm like wrapping it around the, the edges of it so that it stays in place. You do want to apply the butcher paper that comes with it over the top of it, and then you're going to go ahead and set your heat press, and this is what you come out with. So again, super easy to use. This is also something that you can kind of customize and like pers do personalized coasters or initials and things like that. So again, a really affordable gift to give somebody and they're absolutely beautiful. I just love the way it turned out. For the next project, I am going to take this everyday iron-on vinyl in, uh, we're going to use some pink uh, for some seasonal decor. So again, you're using this, you know, you're really using this uh, machine for absolutely anything, for gifts, as well as uh, decorating your home. It can honestly, it cuts, I have the Cricut Explore Air 2, and it cuts like over a hundred materials. Um, so you can cut, you know, all the vinyl that I'm using here, but you can also cut like foil and foam and poster board and cardstock and um, even like wood veneer, um, so many different types of materials uh, that you could use for home decor. So all I'm going to do here is take a, a canvas frame that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to remove the canvas because I like to use the back side of the canvas because I love that natural uh, look of it. And so I just cut it off of the frame and I'm just going to go ahead and apply some heat to the canvas before I apply my wording or my decor. And then once I decide where that's going to go, I'm just going to apply my heat. And that's it. Like, you're all set to go. Um, I, I think, again, this is, like, so easy to do, uh, but yet you're creating such beautiful uh, decor. So all I'm going to do here is cut off the excess uh, canvas. Now, I will say I did this a little bit backwards. If you want to paint or stain the frame, you're going to want to go ahead and do that before you go in and staple the canvas to your frame. It'll be a lot easier. Um, so you'll see in a second, I kind of did that backwards. I wasn't thinking. But I went in with these little bunnies that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to take three of them. Oh, here, here's where I thought, whoops, I wanted to stain this. So let me go ahead and apply that stain to it. Um, so you definitely want to do this step before you attach your canvas. Uh, so I'm just going in with some antique wax just to give it a little bit of color and apply some stain to that. And then once you're all done there, I'm going to go in and paint these bunnies because they do come in some vibrant colors. If you like them like that, you can leave them as is, but I wanted to go in and paint them all white. So I just added I think two coats of chalk paint was good enough for this. And I just applied that to all three bunnies. And then I went in and distressed them a little bit with some antique wax. 
and then you're all set to put your sign together. So all I did was I took my um, detail hot glue gun and I'm just applying some hot glue to the outline of the bunny and you're just going to simply glue it right on to your frame. And I did use the front side of one bunny and then two backs of the other bunnies. Uh, and I'm just going to glue them right onto my sign. Then for the finishing touch, I am just going to take a few little spring um, flowers and greenery and I'm just kind of deciding how I want it to lay them all out and I'm just going to apply them with some hot glue to the corner of my frame and I'm going to also attach a cute little lace ribbon to the corner and then you are all done with this piece, quick and easy but yet a really cute, adorable um, decor piece for spring. So as always, if you've made it this far, I love to hear from you guys. If you wouldn't mind leaving in the comment section below which one of these projects is your favorite, I'd love to hear from you. I think my favorite probably has to be the um, laundry room decor, just because I've waited so long to do all of that. Um, and it just looks so pretty with that like really personalized uh, look to it. So I absolutely love how that came. So for the next project, again, super easy. This is really beautiful premium vinyl. It has like a metallic finish to it. So I just wanted to show you here too, uh, another really cool piece with the Cricut is the versatility of it. So there's an app online or in your app store that you can download and you can literally create your project from your phone. Uh, so how cool is that? It's so easy to use. I know not everybody has a Cricut machine, but I will say if there's one investment that you need to make as far as crafting goes, it's getting one of these machines um, because of overall the money that you can save and the time you can save. It's just amazing. So here I'm just, again, a really quick and easy project. I took um, this metallic uh, vinyl and I just applied it to some cardstock and I had this little like frame that you you can attach things to and that's it. You can change it up seasonally, you know, it's just something really um, quick and simple that you can um, amp up your home decor with. And that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this and got some ideas as far as what you could do with a Cricut machine. It's definitely worth the investment. So save your pennies <laughs> and go out and get one. Uh, everything will be li linked in the description box below. And as always, have a wonderful week and I'll see you all very soon.